Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am continuing on with the brand new Tom Ford eyeshadow quad series that I started last week, at least last week at this point, uh, where I showed you Virgin Orchid first and then I did a video on Daydream. And those were the two quads that were released first out of all of the seven quads that are gonna be releasing. So I am slowly getting them in. It seems like this release is really trickling pretty slowly <laughs> in terms of which retailers are getting them, uh, which retailers are posting them, which quads are actually coming out. So today's is on African Violet, which is this bright beauty here. So if you're interested in seeing me do a demo on this eye look, uh, give you my thoughts and review on this palette and some swatches, then just keep on watching. I really didn't know which quad to start with because I got African Violet, uh, Pretty Baby, and Photosynthesex in the mail, like all at the same time. And it seemed like this one, African Violet, was the most popular or at least um, elicited the most response on Instagram. So I posted a picture of all the quads on Instagram along with swatches. If you wanna go ahead and follow me on Instagram, my information is down below in my description box. Uh, so here is the quad. We have three satin colors and one kind of like glittery top coat that Tom Ford has really become known for. So let me go ahead and show you my swatches here. So you'll see that the satin shades are very, very subtle. The satin is a very um, kind of subdued kind of satin. It's not really overt or in your face or really shiny in any way. There is absolutely no glitter in those shades. They're just really, beautiful. They're very well pigmented. I don't want to say that they're super pigmented because they're not one of those overly pigmented shades. They just have enough pigmentation for you to create an eye look. The glittery top coat shade is like a beautiful copper color and I think they work really really well together. So when I first opened up this palette I thought I don't know what I was expecting really. I, you know, had only seen pictures of it. I knew I was gonna get them because, you know, I love Tom Ford's beauty line. A lot of you were asking me to do reviews on these and I and I really wanted to play around with them. So I just went ahead and kind of like purchased them without really taking like a very, very close look at any of them. And I thought that the purple here was going to be something that was kind of uh, kind of bright and not necessarily glittery, because uh, Tom Ford doesn't really do like super glittery shades, at least not often, but I thought it was gonna be like super shiny. It was gonna be like really kind of in your face. Like I wasn't too wowed with it, but after using it, I thought this is so much better because it makes it a very usable kind of bright, bright purpley shade. And it is definitely a shade that I'm not gonna use every single day. It's definitely a shade that I'm not going to gravitate towards. I'm not going to wake up most mornings and think, ah, I need to use that Tom Ford African Violet shade. So them making it more of like a very kind of easy to use satin finish, I think it's very suitable for me. And I think also for anyone out there who maybe has not used a lot of color in their eye looks, because the finish of this purple is so subdued, it's so elegant, I think it'll make it less intimidating to use. I think it's gonna be something that you're gonna want to use, even if this is a color that you wouldn't normally kind of gravitate towards. So I'm glad that they really geared this palette towards like the everyday user. On the flip side, I do think if you're looking for like really deep, richly pigmented eyeshadows, like eyeshadows that you have to be really careful with, eyeshadows where you can make very daring, bold, in your face looks, this is probably not the quad for you, even though you're probably pretty tempted because of this purple and this orange shade. But they are, um, for bright colors, they are, I wanna say, I guess on the safer side. And that's not to say that you can't get like a really colorful eye look from here, but this is definitely not something like if you've used um, indie shadows, if you've used um, shadows from like Colored Rain or another indie brand like Juvia's Place. So if those are the shadows that you're really into, then this is not for you. You're gonna be sad with the sort of subtle effect that you get with these shadows. I did find though that when I use this purple shadow, it was definitely buildable. So with my first pass, and you'll see in the demo, with the first pass, it's a nice wash. You know, you definitely can see the purple there. It's not, I'm not saying that this is like crappy pigmentation, but it's buildable. I found it upon like the second and the third pass to become much more kind of opaque, much, much brighter. This shade I found to be the most pigmented. That shade I picked up just a little bit and I could use to kind of deepen out my 
um, outer corner and my socket line and I didn't need to kind of like go back in at all. It, it definitely did the job. So this one I find to be the most pigmented. These two are definitely very subtle. And then this is one of those Tom Ford top coats that is, you know, a little bit sheer and I have it kind of tapped onto my lids here. And so it gives your eyes this like nice kind of like subtle glittery effect. And I love these kind of uh, glittery top coats that Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury add to their palettes because you can very simply use one uh, or two of these shades in here to kind of do like an everyday running errands kind of look and then just simply pop this on top if you're gonna go out to dinner or go out to happy hour or meet your girlfriends or boyfriends and it just kind of adds just a little bit of a pop. Again, nothing too high maintenance. So I'm definitely having fun with this quad and I was really excited for this quad when I saw it online. I was a little bit less excited about it when I opened it up again because there's no kind of like texture or anything exciting about these three shades. They're all just a very subtle satin. But once I used them, my excitement came back. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this eye look, then let's head into the demo. All right, so I've got the, whoa, the African Violet Quad here. I uh, was just kind of looking at this, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. I think I'm gonna use this peachy shade kind of as a transition and use these two colors on my lid and maybe top it off with that color. We'll see how that goes. But I thought what I would do, um, just for science, <laughs> is to use the NARS uh, Tinted Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base that I've been loving, but I'm only gonna put it on one eye. Um, so we can see if there's any difference uh, in the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna put it on to, I'll put it on my right eye since I'm right there. I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Okay, so I've got my Tom Ford blending brush, the number 13 brush. This is the natural haired version, which I don't believe they sell anymore. I'm gonna go into this peachy shade and I'm just going to, wow, that picked up a lot. It looks very pigmented. And I'm going to just start applying this to the outer corner here and my socket area. That is uh, definitely very, very pigmented, yes. <laughs> wow, that was just one little dip into that pan and I got plenty of pigment there. So I don't think, at least this particular eyeshadow base, I don't think so far that it makes that much of a difference. Maybe the orange appears a little bit more vibrant on this side. So next we're gonna go into the purpley shade. I've got my Sony G Worker One brush going to dip into the purple. And in both of these shades, there doesn't seem to be, sorry, there doesn't seem to be that much kick up. Doesn't, there's like no cloud or anything when I put my brush in. And place this all over my lid. Oh, that's pretty. That is very, very pretty. It's a beautiful, like, soft wash of purple. And it's like a soft satin finish. It's very nice. I'm gonna pack a little bit more on here. I wanna see if it's buildable. Whoops. I went a little high with it up there. Really pretty, pretty violet shade. I'm gonna go back in with the uh, blending brush. I just wanna see if I can blend a little bit more of this orangey color into the purple. You can get kind of like a nice sunset effect going on there. All right, now I'm gonna take my Hakuhodo J5523. I'm gonna go into this brown shade here and just deepen up my outer corner a bit. All right, so those are the three satin shades applied to my lid. And again, this has the eyeshadow primer and this doesn't. I don't think it really made that much of a difference at all. And even with the uh, application, I don't feel like the side blended any better or any worse. I think they're very similar. So I think these shadows apply very nicely with or without primer and they blend really beautifully. But I just wanted you to see um, this without the like top coat shimmery shade that I'm gonna put on now. So my Sonia G Builder 2 brush and I'm gonna put it and I'm gonna go into this sparkly shade and I'm just gonna add this right at the area where the purple and the brown meet and just kind of press that onto the area. All right, so there's the little bit of shimmer on my eyes there. It adds just a little bit. It is very, very subtle. It gave me a little bit of fallout though. I will say that when I used a brush, maybe on this side, I'll use my finger and see if we can get a little bit more impact and less fallout.
I did get a little bit more impact and less fallout. So I'm going to add a little bit more to this eye with my finger. This shadow, it seems like using your finger makes a pretty big difference there. So those are all the shadows on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, so here is my final look. I will link to everything down below in the description box that is on my face. Hey guys, I was uh, editing my video and I realized I completely forgot to mention that I used the uh, RNG eyeshadow shade as blush and it makes for a, an incredibly pigmented blush as you can imagine but I just sort of like dotted it and I really blended it out and then I kind of buffed it out again with my uh, face bun brush from Sonia G. I really kind of buffed it out, but I didn't have like a really orangey blush that would go really well with this eyeshadow look. So I thought, why not just use the eyeshadow? And I think it worked out pretty well. I also have it paired, just so you know, uh, with this Tom Ford blush gratuitous because this is the most kind of like plummy shade that I have, but it's very cool toned. And even though there's a lot of purple in here, it's a very kind of warm purple. It's a very bright, uh, warm kind of uh, eye look. So anyway, I just thought I would warm it up with that eyeshadow. I did want to mention that because I think it can serve double duty in that way. So anyway, back to the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I am really enjoying these new quads from Tom Ford so far. This African Violet one I think is definitely one of the more different ones that we've seen from his line. And I have to admit, I am liking this palette more than I thought when I first uh, opened it. Of course, being a neutral, you know, brown, smoky kind of lover, I really kind of gravitated towards the brown and this uh, top coat shade the most. And I thought, well, maybe I'll use the purple with it, or maybe I'll use the peach with it. Like, you know, you could do like a three color look by kind of blocking up one of those. But I thought, you know what? I really want to use all four colors, especially for you guys. And I think the look came out really, really nicely. I feel like it looks like just like a really cool like sunset look. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your comments are down below in the comment section and subscribe before you leave. I would love that. I'll see you in my next video.